Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Hero Mode. Um, do you have information for me? Um, I, yes, I am in a hurry. What? Your loft wing is missing? Um, I should look for him near the statue. Well, I've already been up there. Um, check my map. Knowing you, that's the best way to avoid getting lost. Wow. Okay, well, you just went from zero to bitch in about five seconds. Um, why is everybody so mean to me in this town? Good lord. I'm just trying to find my bird, man. Yeah, in the last episode, we learned that our, our loft wing was missing. And everyone uh, lets us know that again and again by saying, What? Your loft wing is missing? Um, and we found out that Groos is responsible, the complete asshole of this game. <laughs> So, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, well, maybe Pippet, you've got more information. Oh god, and we warped inside his mind, apparently. Um, you heard that my loft wing has gone missing. Yeah, because I told you. I'm the one who told you. Oh my god. Am I that forgettable? Fledge, what's wrong? Um, Groose forced him to keep quiet about what? Yes, come on, Fledge. We're buddies. Tell me what's going on. Yes. They were talking about their plan to hide my bird. But when he tried to sneak away, they grabbed him. <clears throat> and threatened him. Made sure that if they would make sure he never rode a bird again. Oh, that's like the worst threat ever around this around this town. Um They were gonna hide him near a waterfall. Yes, look at the map and um, there's a waterfall over there with that X. Right there. Okay. Oh. Do I know how to read a map? Not really. Maps are kind of useless to me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they really are. Um. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Fledge, don't, don't worry. It's, it's okay. Um. You're, oh. you're not a coward. It's alright. Um. There are dangerous things, creepy, crawly things near the waterfall. And I should see the Knight Commander and get a sword. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I would like to get a sword and um, teach some people around here a lesson. <laughs> Maybe they should start treat me with a little bit more respect. Um, you, you will give me your sword. Hand it over right now. Uh, well, no, I don't want pr sword practice. I just want a sword. Okay, there's one in the back room. Perfect. Um, and you will teach us. Wonderful. Alright, let's go get our sword. And what we're about to do is open up the first chest of the game. That's always so exciting. Of course, we already know what it is, but that's alright. And we get a practice sword. Um, we're not going to have this for very long, <laughs> but um, it's going to serve its purpose for right now. Um, if you look at the inventory, um, so all we've got right now is the sword and my wallet. Um, these are the collectibles. Now, like I mentioned before, um, when you switch from normal mode to hero mode, all of your collectibles um, transfer over to the new game. Um, we'll deal with those later. Right now, let's just um, let's let's just move on. We've got our sword. We know where our bird is, and um, do we have to practice? We probably have to have to practice. It wouldn't be a bad idea to practice. Yeah, sure. Um, so basically, so here's a good time to talk about the, the motion controls. Um, when I first heard about this game, I thought that you were really going to have to like be swinging the remote around, you know, like an actual sword. And I'm a lazy bastard, okay? Um, when I'm playing a game, I lay on my ass with a controller in my hand. I don't want to be waving things around and flicking remotes. And, but it really is that simple. Um, I'm literally just flicking the remote right now in just different directions. Um, so it's it's nowhere as near as bad as I, th as I thought it was going to be when I first heard about this game. Um, I'm really putting forth very little effort right now, which is good for someone as lazy as I am. Um, um, spin attack, yeah. Um, if you're ever surrounded, um, I think this actually uses uh, stamina though. Um, 
um, don't quote me on that just yet, but um, but I'm pretty sure it does. Because it's a, it, it's it, you're exerting yourself when you do that. <laughs> oh, it it felt good, all right. Um, oh, finishing blows. Okay, so when you've got an enemy knocked down, you can kind of like jump in the air and stab them, um, kind of like. Which is an important thing. That that's an important move, uh, especially for some of the larger enemies. When they're down, you know, hit them when they're down. <laughs> it may seem like a cowardly thing to do, but but uh, but do it. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, have a good day. Hey! Oh. Now what? We're done here. Oh, I cannot take a sword out of the sparring hall. Sneaking. I'm not sneaking off with anything. I'm trying to find my bird, man, and I need the sword. What? Your loft wing is missing. <laughs> um, so, don't go swinging around like crazy. Are you calling me crazy? Don't call me crazy, man. I'll show you crazy. I will whip out this sword right now, and I will shove it so far. Okay, forget it. Just Let's just go. We have permission to take the sword, and that's all that matters. So, um, I'm going to be good with it. Don't worry. Um, there's a certain bitch I'd like to go find. And <laughs> How do you feel now, um... Are you gonna tell me? Can I can I get Pippet? Can I can I hit Pippet? I can. I'm well, I'm swinging right through him. Good lord. <laughs> He's like looking. Do you see the look on his face? <laughs> he was like, um, can I help you with something, Link? Um, okay. Um, well, here's something. Okay. Well, this is kind of useless at this point. Um, this is a Sheikah stone, and what it does is it gives you video hints. Basically, if, if you're ever stuck at a certain point in the game, you can come here and um, get hints. I don't believe I will ever use this in this playthrough. Um, I don't think I've even ever used it in my normal playthrough, for that matter, but it's there if you want it. <laughs> okay, so we have an objective. We have a sword, and we have a location. So, um, so let's get going. Um, are there more pots for me to break over here? Oh, we don't have time for that. We, I'm, oh God, I fart around so much. Come on, Steve. Let's let's move things along. This is part three already. This is getting a little ridiculous. Cut the grass, get some rupees. Um, uh, hey, kid. Um, what, what's with you? Oh, the bug that I rammed my head into a tree for got away. Gee, that that's great. I'm so it was all for nothing. Thank you. Um, he also mentioned um Beetle's Air Shop. We'll get around to that later. Um, hey, you you were actually nice to me last time, so what do you have to say now? What? Your loft wing is missing? <laughs> is that a thing? Is that funny? I don't think it's funny. Well, maybe I do if I'm laughing at it, so anyway. Um, ask Pippet. Yeah, Pippet, he... Well, I guess he did get uh, fledged to fess up um, to what he knew. Oh, I, all right, no, I'm going to ignore that bitch over there, so... Um, you people, you're, you're different. Uh, speak. One of the students has lost his bird. Yeah, that's me. I'm right here. Oh my god, why do people talk about me like, like, like I'm not... So disrespectful. Um, really, these people, they're, they're only here right now to block me off. They won't be there later. The game is still kind of steering me in a certain direction. Hey, kid. The house belongs to Kukil. You're going to play with your special friend. I'm going to play with my special friend later, too, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, oh, pumpkins. Pumpkins. If Twilight Princess taught us anything, there's money to be had within pumpkins. Um, I, I, I guess I should talk about, as everybody knows, my coin fetish in Mario games. Um, it would stand to reason that I would therefore have a rupee fetish, but I don't. Um... Uh, I, I, I don't feel the need to collect every single one. I, I, I do a fair amount of rupee collecting, but it, it never gets too excessive. What, what do you want? Um, statue only has one eye. And yes, we can use C to look around. Um, so yeah, if you do that, you're going to see... Well, this is a bad angle, but you'll see that um, the statue only has one eye. Keep that in mind for much... Much later in the game. I'm talking like in the game. 
Um, oh, so here's here's the waterfall, but it's blocked off. It is blocked off. Why? Oh, God. Um, we have had a vision. We have had a vision of our bird. Um, beware of blood-sucking monsters. Oh, boy. Well, we've got a sword, so we're not afraid of anything. We will charge recklessly into danger without a moment's thought. So, this is the waterfall cave. We're finally going to get to kill some monsters. Starting off with um, some bats. Or if you will. <laughs> they're, they're bats. I, I never really call Zelda enemies by their actual names. Um, also, this would be the first opportunity... Oh, actually, first there's a chest over here. If I jump... Oh, there it is. Don't link, oh god, and I fail at jumping. I fail at jumping. We're gonna get back up there and try that one again, okay? Um, anyway, what we're looking for uh, here also is that uh, enemies will drop collectibles randomly. Uh, and if we're lucky, we'll get some uh, monster claws and or jelly blobs out of these guys. But, let's try and get this chest again, shall we? That's much more like it. That is so like it that it's uh, not even a thing anymore. And we get 20 rupees, oh my god. That's <laughs> the look on Link's face. It's just like, yum, like it's the most money he's ever seen in his life. Am I going the right way now? I think I might have gotten turned around. But that map means, means absolutely nothing to me, so never mind. Um... It's not like the map like in Metroid Prime. That's like the only map that makes sense to me in like any game. Um, God, we've got more enemies, and there's just there's a few treasure chests in here. I know. Um, other than that, we're just kind of cutting our way through to get to the other side of the cave. Um, yeah, oh yes, the vines right up here. To be another chest. Um, with. Rupees, but how many are in this one? Oh, another 20. We are just rolling in money. I mean, my god. We're coming up on 100 rupees already. We are so rich. We are rich like a chocolate cake. And... Oh, so, oh, so, yeah, they can grab onto you, but they don't do any damage. Um, maybe if you don't shake them off fast enough, but... I don't know. Please do not try. Not when I'm climbing. Don't try to sneak up on me. Oh, he dropped one. He dropped a monster claw. There you go. Extremely sharp, and it looks painful to touch. That's why Link's like hovering it over his hands. He's, that's why he's not touching it. Um, I hear more of you go away. Oh, he dropped another one. Beautiful. And you die. Oh, and another one. Man, we're just rolling in Monster Claws right now. Although I don't think I would want to roll in Monster Claws. That, that sounds painful, to actually be rolling in them. Um, there's 40 more rupees in here. I think we can only hold 300 at this point right now with our current wallet. Um, so, yeah, we're like halfway there already. Okay, that's it. We're through the Waterfall Cave, but no sign of our bird. No bird is had by us. Um... There's a save point here if you want it. Always examine the statues. Very important to do so. Oh! Oh, it's you, Zelda. Um, what has your search revealed? I'd heard you'd gone searching for your bird. Well, yes! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Um, there's a place up ahead that Groot and his gang are always hanging around. Okay, well... Lead on. Um... Oh. What? Um... Zelda, are you okay? Um... Are you hearing voices in your head? We're gonna have to talk about our, our relationship real soon. <laughs> anyway... Oh! It's, it's our bird. There he is. And he's very upset. That That's the worst thing ever. Let's get him out of there. Let us break him free from his bonds. And let's go find Bruce and just, like, peck his eyes out. That'd be great. Can I please line up with the ropes? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's a glimpse of things to come in this playthrough right here. 
<laughs> my horrible swordsmanship. Oh, our bird is free, and he's happy. And all is right in the world. Okay. <laughs> Poor little guy. Poor girl. I don't know. Are you, are you a male or a female? Who knows? So I believe we're going to be coming up on a flying tutorial at this point. Oh, okay. Zelda stops running. She's like, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. You love the bird more than me. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just hang back here. Listen to the voices in my head. Um, yes, we're going to get some bird training now. Um, but before we go, you have to ask me something. Yes, you, you heard a voice. I did not hear it. No. No, that, that's all you. It's been happening a lot lately. You feel like someone is calling out to you. Yeah, so let's talk about our relationship, Zelda. Um, it's not really working out. And no, it has nothing to do whatsoever with the fact that you're hearing voices in your head. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, she's talking about the surface. Um, they, so nobody up here knows that there's like a whole world down beneath the clouds. Um, for some reason, the birds won't go below the clouds, and so it's like this fabled mystery of what's below the clouds. But she is curious about it. Okay, oh, you're not going to push me off the ledge this time? <laughs> you're going to let me jump for myself? Great. You know, this time where the bird is actually here to catch me. Alright, so yes, flying tutorial. Um, if you push down on the D-pad, you call your bird. Um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We must first enter the loading screen. <laughs> okay, there you go. <clears throat> push down, call your bird. And um, flying is pretty simple in this game. Um, this new steer is using the, the Wii Remote. Um, give it a flick to, you know, flap your wings. Um, you can get an overhead view with the Z button. And that's about it. The only other thing which I'm sure that she's going to get to, yeah, she's just going to tell you everything that I just told you now already. Um, the only other thing, um, kind of like um, Epona in like Ocarina of Time, I had like a, a line of carrots on the screen, and you know, you could like kind of like whip Epona and make it go faster at the expense of like a carrot. Same thing kind of happens here, only with like feathers, I think. Um, get like a burst of speed at the expense of a feather, basically. It should be, um, yeah, here you go. Yeah, you got the three feathers and you can get a burst of speed for each one. They do refill over time, but um, it just kind of helps things move along faster. I don't know how I'm going to handle the flying in this game because there's a lot of it, and I'm probably going to have to edit out like a lot of it if I want this thing to be done by, you know, in the next ten years. So... Um, Alright, well, yeah, we have to go find your father. Tell him the good news. There's so many cutscenes. Where's a good place to, to stop? I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to. Some oh, perfect. Here we go. Okay. Um, everyone, take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I will see you next time for more of Skyward Sword.